here, AFP. We're back at 7. We're going to check our collab called 2112 after the famous Rush album. What do we got, Jeff? How's it looking? Oh, man, this pair came out so great. I'm so glad y'all came and bought me this wonderful fruit. We used the red prickly pear and the pink guava again. And I couldn't be happier with the color and flavor of this beer. This bad boy. Look at that. Dang. You know. I'm going to say it doesn't taste bad itself either. Let's get a, let's share a little taste here. even better than it smells. That's amazing. Gosh, you really get that full guava flavor and then this color you could just not get from the pink guava on its own. Yeah, like, I don't think I don't think it would have got there with, uh, without the aid of the red prickly pear. This tastes like guava juice. Not no joke. Like it this, does. You could I not mean, convince me this wasn't guava juice. I mean I taste some beer but there's definitely an overwhelming tropical presence there that is just like just a crusher. Oh, great job, man. Hey, thanks. I do my best. <laughs> yeah. Now, great job to you, man. This base beer was solid for, I mean, you know, we were saying that it's very, you know, simple, base malt, nothing that's going like, to interfere with that color. I mean, look at that. Really deep pink, beyond pink, you know. Yeah. What else? <laughs> Absolutely. Gorgeous. Well, I'd say uh, this is a success, Jeff. I think so. And uh, hey, if you want it, come get it. Well, man, this is an excellent beer. I think we did a really good job with this collab. Cheers. Couldn't say it better myself. Thanks, man. Hey. And if you are interested in this video, watch a lot more at aseptichfruitpurees.com. We have resources and also a lot of information on our other fruit offerings. So, cheers.